Hello everyone, this is Stripper, and today we are playing Shittlery. <laughs> Shittlery. It sounded like Shittlery. I think the people that hate this game would probably call it Chivalry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. I want to be sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so Shit. Anyway, uh, <laughs> this isn't just going to be a random video per se. The point of this video... Well, it is kind of to be random. What I'm going to do, though, throughout it, um, in, in, um, in post-concert, I don't even know if that's a fucking word. Somebody tell me if that's a word. In post-concert with my latest tactics video, which was beginner tactics, um, this is fucking long, I know. Probably could have split it up. I'm going to talk about, uh, some of the mistakes I see the new guys making. Um... Starting with, um, not the archers. Yeah, I don't, I don't like archers anyway. Don't be an archer. That's the biggest mistake you can make. Being an archer. Don't be an archer. Unless you really like being an archer, then that's your decision. But if you care about anything I say, or my opinion, don't be an archer. A, it's annoying. B, about one in five competitive players are archers. Oh, and I can chop your head off in one strike. Yeah, very, very few, like, highly skilled play- Stop archering me, for the love of stupid. Alright, guys, this is gonna be a hating archers video. Uh, everyone's invited. Um. Are you flippin' serious? <laughs> oh, that's so cute. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What? are you doing? At any rate, uh, don't be an archer, basically. Anyway, <laughs> things that are actually bad that they're doing. Um, so as an archer, you should really be aiming for the, uh, the chest. These guys are kind of aiming for my head. And they're not hitting shit, okay? They're hitting less than shit. Oh, did you just do that? I'm sorry. We're sorry. Okay, let's fight someone who's not an archer. Anyone. Anyone at all. Okay, good. Thank you. Mr. Anxiety. Okay. He's, um... He's newish. <laughs> Something, first of all, if you are a new guy, um... I would not recommend Man-at-Arms. Man-at-Arms is way too squishy for the uh, new player to get a hang of. It's so easy to die, it's just not fun. It's not fun to play for a new player. Um, once you get the hang of dodging and blocking and striking efficiently, it becomes a lot more fun, a lot more effective. But as of right now, it's just not a good idea. Now, you see, he switched to a knight. Good man. I, I recommend the knight for all new players, and he's even using a long sword. Nice. And he went right into that strike. That was a really good hit. I mean, strike. Um... Good accelerated drags going on. Uh, decapitation. I'm sorry, Mr. Anxiety. You didn't deserve that. At any rate, uh, don't. Just just be aware of, of what weapon and what class you're using. Um, try every weapon and class. Like, for example, I never thought I would like... Um, I never thought I would like the man-at-arms with hatchet. I never thought I'd like the man-at-arms with holy water sprinkler. Um... But I used to use it religiously. I used to use the heck out of it. Because it's, it's insane. It's a monster. I love it. But it's, it's such an obscure weapon. You don't really think, oh, maybe I should main with this weapon. But no, it's just it's really awesome. It's so fucking fast. God damn, your head is gone! <laughs> I love it, yeah. So yeah, try every weapon. Try every play style. Definitely. Um, and by play style, I mean, you know, aggressive, defensive, vanguard... Heavy, knight heavy, man at arms heavy, that kind of thing. Also, don't panic block. Don't do it. I made a blocking video. You guys should watch it. It's great. Teaches you how to not panic block. Sorry. 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 Don't panic block. Don't panic block. 
don't panic. Okay. Yeah, so don't panic block. Um, it's a it's a habit I see all new players getting into. And it's okay. It's okay if you do it. But you need to slowly um, get away from panic blocking. Because it's just... It's so... It's so bad for um, just basically trying to win. Um, oh! Even got an effective feint out. Panic blocking. Panic blocking! Panic blocking. <laughs> yeah, don't panic block, guys. Um, in my blocking video, I, I basically shout that in your faces, but... Yeah. Blocking. It's what keeps you alive. Don't waste them, man. Block wisely. <laughs> as stupid as that sounds. Block wisely, right? Um... Oh, gosh. Don't waste your javelins. How's that for a pro tip? Yeah, he thought he wouldn't die because I was using a fucking dagger, but no, sir! Your head is mine. So, that's what he was doing wrong. Uh, again, another archer. He doesn't appear to be that good at arch arching. Arching. At archering. I'm sorry. We're sorry. I'm kind of mean when it comes to dueling archers, especially. They're just so fun to bully. Um, by beating them, I mean. Oh gosh, more archers. Yeah, guys, seriously, if you're new in this game, if you're new in this game and you are an archer, seriously consider playing a different class, right? If you just started playing archer because you wanted it to feel like an FPS, then please switch to something like the knight or the vanguard. If you want an FPS sort of feel, if you just want to try to kind of kill everyone, vanguard. Just go vanguard, man. Vanguard can wreck everything. If you're, if you know what you're doing, even if you don't know what you're doing, just do this. Just do that about eight times. You'll probably kill 20 people. Trust me. Vanguard is the most under liked class in the game right now. Okay. It's, it's amazing. Uh, I don't use it because I, I don't like that kind of reckless play style it, it requires. Um, However, um, however, it's really, really good in team games. It can be very good in duels, and there are so many different playstyles you can use with it. There is, um, there's a bubble-hungry vanguard, which is a vanguard who basically uses the bubble like a fucking, like a weapon. Um... Whoa, there. Yep, use the bubble like a weapon. There, there's so many play styles for the anger. Oh, shit. But, if you're a nightman yourself, um, if you're recording, oh, fuck. If you are a knight, there, there, yeah, you have a bunch of tactics yourself. You can be uber draggy knight with the Mesa. Oh, great. I told people I'm, <laughs> I told people I'm recording a video. Um, and I'm fighting Ascended, and he's saying how to fight Ascended is the title of the video. I have fought Ascended before. But anyway, um... Some, uh, play styles of the knight are super draggy knight. Super drag heavy knight. Oh, shit. Okay, super drag heavy knight. God, I keep getting... Oh, shit. Super drag heavy knight. Um... Fuck. I only use super drag heavy knight. I don't know any other ones, guys. No. The super drag heavy knight, super speed sort of war knight. You can be really fast with a knight, guys. Don't think the knight's all fucking slow. You can be really, really fast. Um, I'm gonna show you guys right now, actually. I need. I want to get rid of these preconceptions that certain classes are, are are bad with certain things. You can be fast with a knight, or slow with a man at arms. Okay, the, it's all the weapon and the playstyle you decide on. You see, fucking attack speed is nuts. Fucking kill them in about ten seconds. Maybe. 
it is great. Um, so again, just don't don't think about it like, oh, I want to go fast. Let's go man at arms. No, think about the whole playstyle. What do you like doing? Do you like getting really up close and personal and just poking and destroying them from the inside out? Oh shit! From the inside out. Or do you prefer more of a calculated, tactical approach, such as um, including dragging? Um, you can do every approach with several different ways. Just remember that. Um, I'm planning eventually, don't quote me on this if I don't do it in the next week or two, though. <laughs> I'm planning on doing some uh, playstyle videos, though, of some of the more common good playstyles. You see, with the Danax, you can be extremely draggy. And just kind of, and slow if you want, right? You can take it slow and still be able to dodge. So, just think outside the box, right? Um, I I have two favorite playstyles. I am generally equally good with both, but I choose them based on my opponent. Most of the time I will go with my Knight Messer Dragtastic um, Mon. Dragtastic man. Might mess or dragtastic man. Um, but sometimes I will go with the man at arms Norse sword or dagger sometimes, and they're very they're diametrically different play styles. You're probably thinking, but honestly, they rely on the same concept: getting up close, dealing a shit ton of damage. And using, um, using your opponent's panic blocks and whatnot to kill them, basically. That's the basis of those two playstyles. And the principles work equally. Um, you just have to know how to use the weapons very well. And I am very skilled with the Norse Sword and very skilled with the Messer. Both are quite finesse-based weapons. The Norse Sword, however, is, is a lot easier to approach for, for um, newer players, stuff like that. I would only use the Norse Sword if I were a newer player and I had it unlocked. It's an extremely good weapon. Um, a lot of people have called it overpowered, including me. I know it's overpowered. That's why I use it. Damn it. <laughs> I mentioned it's overpowered in the tactics video. Because it is. Uh, let's see if I can't find some more junky stuff. Some more janky stuff that people are doing. Mr. Anxiety. Okay, that bastard. He appears to be Oh no, his buddy, the yellow guy, is making a big mistake. I should have mentioned this in the beginner tactics video, it's pretty important. While you're attacking, if you are moving while you're attacking, it makes it a lot harder for your opponent to read where your weapon's going to go. Um, I did go over, like, poking around a shield, and that is kind of a corollary to that. In that you're, you're moving around the shield while you're striking, so your opponent is kind of thinking while he's trying to track you. So it becomes difficult for your opponent to process the attack. I'm probably popping the hell out of this mic. Um, but at any rate, just just keep your head up, right? Just think while you're fighting. Don't, don't think this is an easy game just because you can kill someone in one strike with a messer, right? It is not an easy game. I should know. I've played it for far too long. I think I have like 460 hour... I don't Fucking no, don't ask. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we're down to the last two. Um, so, what more can I talk about? Um, oh, yeah, as a vanguard, charge. Use your fucking charge, man. It's really effective, always. Whoop, nice. Now, something God's son just did. God, that feels weird. The, the guy who just got beaten in the face, something he just did, he attacked out of turn. He didn't respect the tempo. I talked about tempo in the beginning of the video, um, but the basis of, of that is you want to keep to the tempo. So if your opponent attacks, you block, you make a response, you wait for your opponent's response. You don't kind of take over in the middle of the tempo unless you know precisely what you want to do and what your opponent's going to do. Okay? If you can break the tempo to your advantage, do it. You can win most of the time. And... I think that is our video, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, favorite, subscribe if you did. Share it if you loved it. I shall see you kind people later. As always, have a grand day. See you guys next time.